Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, hopefully we have uh, finally hit spring uh, after our nice little snowstorm we got. Um, this is the last week of April. And last week we got a nice little shot of snow. Uh, somewhere between two and three inches. So It got really cold also, down in the 20s. So the triticale seemed like it slowed down growing. And uh, right beside me is a nice field of triticale. Um, and uh, so we're, we're thinking maybe end of this week we will get and, uh, get chopping uh, this trip so hopefully we get some good weather uh, looks like uh, 80 degrees several days this week so as dairy farmers we got to kind of balance the fact of if the weather's nice and the grounds fit do we make triticale quick do we plant corn so soybeans or what do we do so uh, so we have a few uh, extra things on our table to do uh, other versus uh, just regular grain farmers so so what I'm doing today is I got to come down to the shed here grab our Kloss 970 chopper which I did not do a very good job cleaning it up last fall after we got done and uh, I gotta get it ready to go because we got a new one coming so so that's showing up this week uh, I need to get learning how to run it and hopefully it's fun so so yeah so a few things coming this week and uh things should start getting pretty busy this uh cloth chopper is a uh, 2012 uh 970 uh it's got roughly 300 engine or 3000 engine hours not quite 2950 or something like that um it is getting traded in the last I knew, uh, this chopper was not sold yet, so I'm not sure what the dealer has plans for that, or maybe they do have a sold, but now I'm not sure. So it is a, it's been a very good chopper. It uh, it has uh, had new knives last year before corn, so according to the monitor, it's showing that it's got like 60% life left. So. Um, should be good in as that aspect as far as uh, if somebody wants to run it this spring, this summer, it should be good to go. All right, we're going to jump up in the cab here. And as you can see, yeah, someone didn't clean this out last fall. Um, my goal is today is clean the cab out, uh, get everything blowed off, all the dust blew off nice, um, and get ready for... Uh, for the dealer to pick it up. Um, I'm pretty confident this thing's going to fire right up. Oh yeah. So I just unhooked the head. Um, I guess one of the reasons why I didn't totally clean everything up last fall was I had just cleaned it and then we made one more crop of hay and uh, ended up getting caught in the rain. So that's why it got kind of dirty. So anyhow, I'm gonna get her shined up today. All right, so I ordered some goodies here for our rolling harrow that we pull behind our field cultivator here. There we go. There we go. What we have here is the tines that go in the front of the rolling basket on an angle. Now that's a new one. This here's one I took off. So, let's do it this way. It's about two, two inches. 
And on the other side, it's, uh, wow, it's pretty, there's a lot missing there. So, we'll try to get those uh, changed for too long and help smooth the fields out a little more. So also, I'm having problems with this, not wanting to uh, fold upright. So this wing is actually supposed to fold flat here, and this one is supposed to be like that on top of it. But if this thing does fold, it's going to hit. So I'm not sure what the problem is. I don't know. When I was unfolding mess with the other day, um, one of these seemed like it wasn't quite right probably end up on taking those off looking over maybe getting some new ones and then I'll hook it up to another tractor and just see if I can fold it unfold it so I hopped into the 70 s76 this morning and it already has over 100 hours on it see there uh, When we got this, we had three hours on it. So uh, this is the second week of April and we've had it for two months or less. So yeah, this loader is getting a workout. So it's something we use every day and it's been good for the first hundred hours. So hopefully it can keep on uh, doing good for us. Moving the uh, new central unit over to the robot room here. Going nice and slow. So the central unit's what dispenses all the soaps, detergents, water, uh, air. Whatever, all, all the supplies, all the robots with everything it needs, where everything runs through that. And one can take care of two robots. Might be a little tight here. this dispenses the water this is a boiler um, to get it up to cleaning temp uh, I think that's vacuum vacuum pump and water lines and uh, <clears throat> so here are the pumps for the acid uh, when there's an ashes wash, alkaline wash, uh, this, this is the brush sanitizer cleaner, um, and sanitizer for everything. So <clears throat> that's what that, before this will supply both robots. So anyway, glad we got it in here. We will, eventually this will be, we'll have our drums of soaps and whatnot back here and then there'll be a hole in the wall to go out to the robots near the other side here. so but we got that done so until next time we'll catch you later she just asked me how do you go fast i push that lever right over there push out forward there you go
to get bed in uh, the barns over here in Texas. We like to drive the tractor back. It's a good experience for a young kids just to get their hands behind the wheel and uh, just kind of know how a piece of equipment handles.